Hello everyone. Today I will talk about pronunciation in English. So I know this is a very important part, as well as very interesting, because、um, many of you are interested in practicing pronunciation. But actually, now, not many people, especially people in the countries where. English is used as the second language, so it's very hard for you to speak like a native speaker. Very, very hard. Very, very difficult. So I know most of you to try to imitate, try to copy from maybe the native speakers' videos. So when you watch something, so you try to remember, and after that you try to repeat. So that's good. This is one of the good way to improve your pronunciation. And besides that, many of you,、um, how we say, so try to express. So. Uh, your opinions, and especially with them, so looking up the the phonetic symbols in your dictionary. So many English sounds that you pronounce incorrectly, and is non-native. Like, hello everyone, hello everyone. No, so you know when I hear that, so when I listen to your accent, so I get a bit annoyed because I know you don't spend a lot of your time on practice. I know practice make perfect. Everyone, everyone, having good pronunciation in English knows that. So if you want to speak, if you want to pronounce better, you have to sit in front of the mirror, and then you try to adjust your mouth. But actually, if you want to do that, you have to know about phonetics. Phonetics means you have to learn by heart. Forty-four symbols. Forty-four symbols, and you know how to make vowel sounds and how to make consonant sounds. They are completely different. Completely different. Mm. So, when you copy exactly, so、um, exact sounds, especially vowels, so you can pronounce like or similar to a native speaker, not one hundred percent, completely, complete. Similarity, but eighty or ninety percent. And when you speak English, so the foreigners, the native, the native speakers, cannot recognize you are from Vietnam, or you are from a country that、uh, English is used as the second language. Or the first language, or they might think. So you study abroad, or you travel abroad for a long time. So that's the reason why you can speak English in their accents. So now, so the first rule, I want you to listen attentively. 
So you have to learn phonetics. You have to really. And the second one. So if you want to speak naturally, so naturally means not like a robot. So you know when I when I listen to a person speaking English, like they are. They are reading, really. They are reading uh, a text. That's not good. So when you speak English, you have to put your feeling into your speech. So you are happy, show it. You are sad, show it. So you are surprised, show it. Right. So I say, if you can speak English in that way, you are speaking naturally. I love it. So when you see me, so you you see me wearing, uh, how we say, a weird T-shirt. Oh man, why, why are you wearing that T-shirt? So you are surprised. Uh, if you want to, how we say, um, if you want to show your anger, don't touch my computer. Get out, man. Something like that. So, when you learn, um, so you learn after you learn for Nat as well. So try to say something in your feeling. And the last one, last but not least. So if you want to speak fluently, so fluently, so you have to get out and speak. Really. So you can improve your speaking when you converse in English really so when you talk to me when you discuss something and you share your opinions so f- you can um, so you can uh, reinforce your v- vocabularies because you know how to use the words in their particular situation and if you can make other people understand you so you are successful really and actually um, when you express your opinions and you are interested so you are excited so you like that topic so really so you are enthusiastic in speaking and you love speaking and one more thing you can learn from the author's opinions so when you talk to the foreigner about their culture about their economy it's like you travel abroad so you can improve your knowledge about the outside world it's very cheap and very practical right so if you don't have many opportunities to travel so now is your time to practice is your time to discourse or ask what you don't know so now say it say it out in English and share your opinions to everyone around the world that's the purpose of learning English and speaking English so thank you for watching this video Mm. 
I hope that so when you watch my video so you have uh, a motivation and you want to get more in your learning thank you again and see you